Hi everybody, Neil here. Today I would like to talk to you about Minecraft modding in version 1.7.2. There's a lot of videos out there and you know I don't really know what's going to set my modding tutorials apart other than maybe you know my fucking extraordinarily good looks and my award winning personality. Uh, in terms of content now that's a whole nother thing, right? Um, I'll level with you. I've been doing this for a while, and one of the most common things that I see, and this is something that I did when I started modding, was you hop on the forums or you're watching YouTube videos and you really just start copy pasta. You're just fucking duplicating the mod that your your author, your teacher is trying to do for you. Rather than really kind of like working with you to understand the fundamentals of the programming, and how, you know, what it's like to program with Minecraft, adding stuff to Minecraft. And that's really where I hope to close the gap. I'm a teacher, IRL, so maybe that's, maybe that's why the fuck I want to do this. I don't know. But, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, we got to get started. We got to go out. We got to get some tools. We've got to get some Minecraft Forge stuff. I've got a full bottle of Rockstar. I got a can of dip. I got my cat bugging the shit out of me. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. So, first things first, we got to go and get some files. Um, those files specifically being... Dun, 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 we got to get the forge source. So you see mine's already in here, but you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net. I'll put a link down below so you can just click that. But two, like so. We're going to go to 172 Recommended, the 1024, right there. We're going to grab the source. That's going to download, right? You're going to wait for your ad fly. You're going to choose Skip Ad. And then what's going to happen is that's going to show up in your Downloads folder. Get rid of that. Right? Like so. Oh, no, that's Eclipse. The fuck am I talking about? i got to click it. i got to get that. Is it here? Boom. There it is. Sweet. The next thing we want to do is let's let's just let's just get our shit out of the way. Let's get all the stuff that we are going to need out of the way. Um, first and foremost, we gotta spell it right. We're gonna go to eclipse.org. Get started now, download Eclipse. Now whether you're on Linux or Mac or Windows, the website is designed to recognize your operating system and it's going to take you to the flavor that you need. If things are fucky, then you can choose from here, which one, whatever platform you're running. The complicated thing is, is a lot of people don't know whether or not they have 32 or 64 bit operating system. Now, if you're in Windows 8, easy thing that you can do is come down to the bottom left, you'll see your start button, right click on that, go to system system type 64-bit operating system pretty savvy right not bad so I know to get this one the thing is 32-bit is will run on 64-bit right not as efficient but it will work but 64-bit will not work on 32-bit oh another thing if you run a Windows 7 if you haven't made the upgrade to 8 the big jump uh, click on start go to computer right click on that then choose properties and it should take you to the system dialog that you just saw um, if I'm wrong correct me in the comments yeah so we click that we'll download it boom 64 I'm gonna download it from here but I'm not actually gonna download it because I already have it here next tool we need we're gonna go to get paint dot net I want you to come in here and I want you to download paint get that bad boy installed right uh, we're gonna use this to uh, work on our textures right pretty handy tool it's free and it's it's great quality if you're if you're if you're an artist already right I'm not an artist I'm a developer I'm not a designer I don't have a creative bone in my body uh, and you have a tool that you're using whether it be Photoshop or GIMP or any of those others by all means stick with that but if you're like man all I have is just regular old paint and uh, 
I'm not really, I haven't spent a lot of time making textures or, you know, image manipulation, any of that. Get paint.net. It's pretty straightforward. And if you're unfamiliar, you can follow along with my lead on making textures, right? The next thing that we want to do is download, and I don't know the address for this, so we'll just say download 7-zip. Um, be picky. Don't, don't ever fucking download anything from CNET. This looks legit. So again, know which version you're running, right? I would download this one. Boom. This is going to allow us to get into jar files and extract files out later. And when we actually get to the 7-zip part, that'll make quite a bit of sense. So, through the magic of YouTube, you can pause it. You can go work on all this shit. You can rewind it, come back, whatever. I'm going to press forward because I know that with your use of the pause button, everything will work out. So, first thing we're going to do, I want to create a new folder on my desktop. And I'm going to name that modding. Straightforward, right? Now here's where I want you to come up with your own creative thoughts, right? And this goes back to what I was saying about you guys just copy pasta using, you know, just copying my mod. We don't want that. I want to help you guys build your own badass mod, right? I don't want you to build my badass mod. I want you to think of a name for your mod, right? You can go back and, you know, w once you feel like you're, 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 you're navigating the aspects of Minecraft modding really well, you can come back and change that. You can create a whole new project file. But for right now, I want you to come up with your own name, your own name of what it's going to be. Mine's going to be Neil, Neilcraft, because who am I? I'm Neil, right? So we're going to call this Neilcraft, like so. That's in my modding folder. Now what we also want to do is we want to go to our downloads folder and we just want to take this make sure that it says move right so that way we're keeping our downloads folder clean we're going to move that over there the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up Eclipse now Eclipse doesn't have to be installed really it's ready to go in the zip file so what I recommend what I ended up doing here is I just stuck that folder underneath program files right here in Eclipse right so if you wanted to come in and um, you know really you could just copy this and drag it over and you're good to go I don't know why my computer just made that noise and then it's going to treat it like a regular program from there you can right click on it you can create a shortcut hello you can create a shortcut, which I did here, drag it up on your text taskbar, because you're going to be using that a lot, right? Um, if you have any questions about Eclipse, post them below. I'll help you out with them. Uh, but we're going to push forward. Um, what we want to do is we want to open up our Forge source zip file. We're going to highlight everything, and we're going to copy that. We're going to go into Neocraft, and we're going to paste that in boom now we need to install all this stuff right that we just that we just pasted in here um, right click right click right click hold down shift and right click you get this option open command window here and really what this does is it allows it takes you the command prompt saves you the trouble of having to type out the whole path what we want to type is gradle w setup all lowercase capital d d comp capital w workspace hit enter this is going to take a little bit of time to do so I'm going to pause the video I'm going to come back when this is done uh, we can compare times we can see whose computer's better who did it faster hey no probably not I don't know if that's an accurate measurement of computer speed but anyways I'm going to pause when it's done I'll come back uh, you can pause me when yours is done you can come back too we'll meet up And we're back. One minute, 48 seconds. Sweet. Next thing that we want to do, Gradle W, Eclipse. This one goes pretty fast by comparison. But again, you may need to pause it. Because I think I'm just going to talk my way through this one. It usually only takes about 15 to 20 seconds, at least for me. 
there we go 13 seconds so when we close this we go back we notice that we've got some new folders we, yeah maybe have a couple new files under there uh, but we've got all this extra stuff so now we can get in now we can get started right um, what to do where to go let's pull up Eclipse and um, I already had a workspace selected so let's use other and what we want to do is we want to go to I have mine under the desktop right so desktop modding Neocraft Eclipse OK and we're just going to go ahead and hit the OK button and it's going to open up that workspace essentially all those files that we just downloaded are going to be available to us now I like to have mine a little bit cleaner than this so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that it's not like those things are gone they're still over here just chilling like if you want to look at your errors I've got an error in here uh, no it's not my error it's a prepackaged error uh, and then our package explorer over here so we'll actually see Minecraft you see the red X that indicates that we have an error which means that there's a good possibility that when we try to run Minecraft in this development environment it's not going to work the reason that we have an error is because they've actually included an example mod in here right and it has this little error right here we could change it we could leave it hey look at that everything's good everything's savvy we're not going to do that we're actually just going to get rid of this because it's kind of irrelevant for us we're going to walk through everything that we need to get our mod up and going off the ground what I want you to do right click on Minecraft choose new go to source folder we're going to type in SRC. I'm going to type Neocraft. So that's the name of my mod. I want you to type in what your mod name is. Under that, we're going to do a new package. That package will be net.neocraft.mod. And then in that, we're going to create our main modding class. Right? This is the baby this is where the magic happens Neocraft just like so finish there we have it boom we're ready to go we're done that's it that's all I have to teach you in the series JK JK lol um, what we need to do first is we need to set up some required items specifically our mod ID so above the public class but below our package we're going to type at mod and we are going to put in our mod ID which is going to be equal to neocraft dot mod ID we're going to put in our version which is equal to neocraft dot version And yeah, we need to declare some variables for these though. So public, static, final string, mod ID equals, no, that's my other mod, Neocraft. Close that up with a semicolon you'll notice that this mod ID just turned blue and went italic on us there we'll see the same thing happen with version once we declare that and then assign our variable to it so public final string again string really just means that we're creating a variable by the name of version and we're going to load it up with some text and it will be alpha uh, version 0.1 close that up boom so now we see version there but we still have a couple of errors here and this comes to imports we're going to be referencing a lot of other classes as we're building this mod and those imports 
are, are the references to it, right? That's how we incorporate other features and functions into our mod. So we're going to highlight over that. We're going to choose Import Mod. And then you'll notice that we now have no errors. We have error none. We're going to be using this a lot, but really what we're saying is, hey, our mod ID for this mod, we want to go out to the NeoCraft class and get the variable mod ID. And you'll actually see listed right here, NeoCraft. I actually spelled that wrong. But you already knew that. You're like, hey, he forgot the E. If we hold our mouse over version, it's going to actually show the version that we typed down here. So, I mean, really this could be, you know, dog poop. It doesn't really matter, right? Dog poop. So when we actually log into Minecraft, it's going to say dog poop. And we can do that now. We don't actually want to say dog poop in the long run. Right? That wouldn't work. We can go to mods. Neocraft. Dog poop. That's the version. But we don't want that. Only make a volume, Batman. Let's turn that down a bit. So, let's actually change this back to what we had it as. As funny as dog poop would be, we don't want that. Um, now, there's a couple of other things that we need to do. We need to build three methods within our class here. And these are really kind of going to be the backbone of our mod. So, we're going to start public void uh, pre-init. And this is going to be FML pre initialization event. Now if you spell these wrong, it's 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 okay, and I'll show you why, because we have to come in and import these classes. So here you'll actually see pre initialization event, right? So we typed it right the first time, but let's go in and actually take out one of these eyes, and you're gonna see that it doesn't give you import right off the bat but it says, hey, do you want to change it to the things that are kind of like that? Oh yeah, let's change it to our pre-initialization event. Bitchin'. Bitchin'. Oh, but there's something we got to put above that, and I almost forgot. Event handler. And we're going to import that. So that's our pre-initialization. That's a mouthful. Um event handler public void init um, fml initialization event and we're just going to call this one event brace curly brace boom initialize Ah, see, I spelled this wrong. In tit, titulize. Let's go ahead and change that to FML, initialization event. And let's do the last one, which is our post. So event handler, public, uh, public void post init FML. Shit. Post initialization. We're going to call this one post event. Curly brace. Booyah. Like so. Import. I didn't spell it right. What did I not spell it right? Initialization. Oh. There we go. Now let's import it. See right there at the top. I spelled it right the first time. So there it is. This is the base of our mod, and actually this is where we're going to stop for right now. A lot of information covered in this video. We're going to come back to the next video, and what we're going to do is items. We're going to go all the way through items. Not all the way through, but we're going to get some items, and we're going to throw them in there. So let's do that next time. Thanks, everybody. This is Neil, and I will see you then.